this is wabisabiinstitute.com and okinamiracle.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook a very delicious and very unique uh, type of dish made of uh, bitter melon. This is a bitter melon. This is a vegetable which I found in Japan and this is widely used in Asia. So if you go to your uh, local Asian store, you I'm sure you can find uh, one kind of bitter melon available. And this has more tax on the surface and the one probably you find in your area is has a less tax and has more smoother surface. But this is still bitter melon and it will taste almost the same as this one. So today our uh, dish will uh, be very traditional dish made of this bitter melon and I'm going to show you how to use it. So. So this is what we have. Uh, we have uh, Goya and we are not going to use the whole uh, Goya but we are going to use about uh, 7 cm of Goya and then we have uh, uh, 5 gram of meat and bean sprouts, some tofu and this is a one package of tofu uh, which contains about 350 grams of tofu so I'm going to use about half of this amount and uh, what else we need? We need sesame seed oil and then we need a Japanese soya uh, sauce. Um, I will take about uh, 7 centimeters this amount. Uh, this is a bitter uh, vegetable so you don't have to use that much if you don't like it. Just use a little bit and today uh, this recipe also includes a uh, different uh, um, ingredients so we don't have to only focus on the Goya so the taste the bitter taste will be uh, not so strong in this case if you use that amount so first what you have to do is to remove the seeds from it and the best you do it is by using a spoon Then uh, chop the goya in a very very thin slices. Uh, try to do your best. So try to really chop it very thin, just like this. About uh, very thin. It's very difficult to chop it very thin because this this has not so. Um, smooth surface so it's kind of a challenge but try to do your your best to chop it very in very thin slices and some people pour it this goya into the water for a while to remove the bitterness so if you think you absolutely don't tolerate uh, the taste of bitterness you just can put it for a while in a cold water and just drain it and you have much less uh, bitterness in this vegetable. So here we have uh, all three kind of vegetables. We will combine them today and use oil and today I'm going to use uh, rice oil. This oil doesn't damage the... doesn't uh, oxidize while cooking so I recommend absolutely you use this as a for cooking. Then adding meat, a little bit of soy sauce to just uh, flavor the meat with some water, and use the cover. So the meat will be. It will be very light for stomach, so this is how we do in Okinawa Miracle Diet. We just focus on a light method of cooking. Some water. So when meat is already done, um, you don't need the, the cover anymore. You add the goya.
the other, the other vegetables. Use some soy sauce. We add uh, tofu. We will divide it into bigger pieces like this. Delicious tofu. In the end, we will add uh, egg. Just have over the everything. Then one tablespoon of sesame oil. Turn off the heat, and all is done. I'm going to show you how to serve uh, this dish. Take a little bit of tofu and uh, vegetables and a little bit of meat. You can serve it either in a bowl or in a um, on the plate as well. Both ways will this meal, this dish will look nice. It is very quick to cook and very delicious and flavorful. This is not heavy food so your body well easy digested and of course the taste aspect is very important and the bitter melon here um, it wouldn't taste that much bitter as uh, it is raw so um, I'm sure you will love this meal and really the combination of all those ingredients makes really excellent excellent uh, unique taste